G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is I'm going to be looking at dividing fractions. So I'm going to be try to explain. Um, well, I'm going to explain how to do the most simple ones of these, and we're going to work on uh, some mixed numbers and things like this, and then I'll give you some examples to work on by yourself. So how to divide fractions. Now, when we're doing these, it's, it's really, really important to realise that dividing fractions is much like multiplying fractions. It just involves an extra step. Okay. So if you can work out this extra step, you'll have absolutely no problems doing it. So I'll give you an example. Say I wanted to know what uh, a quarter divided by a half is. Okay? Now, how many uh, groups of a half are in a quarter? So it might seem a bit strange to think about, okay? And, and, and often it is when you first start doing these. The way that we do these is really, really simple, and it's as follows. We basically just have to change this part here to a times, okay? We keep the quarter the same, but what we do is we flip the denominator and the numerator here, okay? So we flip these around and make them change position. We turn them on their head, so to speak. So the two ends up the top, and the one ends up down the bottom, okay? And then we multiply this out, so one times two, is 2 and 4 times 1 is 4. This we can actually, there's a number that goes into both 2 and 4 which is 2, so 2 goes into 2 once and it goes into 4 twice, so this is the same as a half. Okay, so how did you go with that? So how many, this might be a way you might think about this too, because in a quarter and you want to divide it by halves, this is, this is quite a difficult thing to think about, I think, when you're first doing these. But if you can imagine a quarter, okay, you can imagine a quarter here, all right, and you want to see how many times here a half goes into it. Well, it doesn't go into it actually, only half of it manages, okay, we've only got half this actual amount there, so... This is our answer, which is a half, okay? You can probably see we did it the other way and said how many quarters in a half. In fact, let's work that out. Maybe this, this will be a good one for you to work out if you, if you, if you didn't quite get that. So let's, let's do this particular one, which is how many, what's a half divided by a quarter? Okay, so the way that we do this is as follows. We Start with our half. We're going to change this to times, and this is going to become, flip these over, so this will become 4 over 2. Oh, 4 over 2? 4 over 1. I apologise about that. I'm making making a mistake there. Okay, because this is a 1, and so it goes down here. So 1 times 4 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2. So 4 divided by 2, 4 over 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So you might be able to think about this. I can draw my half. And you want to know, divide this into quarters. Uh, well, divide this, see how many times quarter goes into it. And so you'll see there's one, two quarters. So we're seeing how many times quarter goes into it, and there's one, two quarters in there. Do you get that? Okay. Let's uh, go another example. Then I'm going to put some ones with mixed numbers up and see how you go with those. They're also pretty easy, okay? So what about we do three quarters divided by uh, a half? All right. So we change this into three quarters. Well, that's the same, isn't it? We change it the times, and then we flip these guys around. So two goes up here, one goes down here, and we multiply them out. Three times two is six. Four times one is four. 6 divided by 4, it equals 1, and there's 2 left over, 2 over 4. We can actually see that there's a number that goes into both the 2 and the 4 here. So we get 1, and 2 goes into this once, and 2 goes into this 4 twice. So the answer is 1 and a half. Okay. Now, how would you go with those? Hopefully you're going pretty good. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give you a couple of mixed number ones to work with now. So, let's do those. What about we do, so say, what is two and a half divided by um, a quarter? Now you might be able to actually think, okay, I know the answer to that one. You might be able to think, how many quarters are in two and a half? Okay, I'll 
maybe you can think about that right now if you could work that out. Anyway, I'm going to start working out the answer on this. So as we will look at in other videos, the way that we can change this two and a half here into, we have to change this two and a half here. Let me start again. We have to change this two and a half here, this mixed number, into an improper fraction, okay? So this will be where it's no, there's no whole number, it's just a, a number over the top of another number. And it's called improper because this number at the top will be bigger and this number down the bottom will be smaller. And the way that we do that is as follows. It was this number times this number plus this number. So we end up with a five and we put that over a two. Now I'll explain that really, really quickly again for you guys who haven't seen my other videos where I talk about mixed numbers to improper fractions. If you can imagine two and a half, Okay, there's my two and a half. Okay, I'm drawing them as halves here. So there's one, two, there's one, there's two and a half. You can see that there's one, two, three, four, five halves here. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five halves. Okay, now, so when I'm doing that first part, two times two, it's two times two here because they're halves. So there's one, two, three, four. So two twos are four plus one gives us that five bit, and we're talking about halves, so this is the number that goes on the bottom. Okay, so I'd have to times this now by what? Okay, I'm gonna flip this over, this is gonna become four over one. So let's do this, five fours are 20, and we're gonna put that over two times one, which is two. 20 divided by two is 10. That sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Because if you could imagine two and a half, this is my two and a half here, there would be, um, I'll see if I can colour this in, there's one quarter here, there's two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, five quarters, six quarters, seven quarters, eight quarters, nine quarters, ten quarters, okay? So there's ten lots of a quarter there. So how did you go with that? Hopefully pretty good. I tell you what, I'll give you another one of those. If you get confused with these mixed numbers, by the way, I have other videos which look at these, so definitely go and, and have a look on my channel for these. So what about we do uh, three and a quarter, and I'm gonna divide that by, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna divide one mixed number by another mixed number. I'm gonna divide this by two and a third. All right, two. Well, I could, I could understand if you, you looked at that and you thought I have no idea what that is off the top of my head. I'll tell you what, I actually don't either. But I'll show you how I'd work it out. So first off, I'm gonna change these into improper fractions. Okay, I'm gonna sort of do a number of steps all at once here. Um, but first off, I'll we'll change these to improper fractions. So three times four is 12, plus one is 13 over four. And this number over here, I'm gonna chuck the answer to this over here, by the way, because, and, and you'll see why in a sec. Two times three is six, plus one is seven over three. Okay, and the reason I've chucked this over here is because down here, which is my next part of my work here, and I'm gonna times, and I'm gonna flip this around. So three over seven. So, let's have a look at this. 13 times three. 13 times three, the answer to that is 39. And four times seven is 28. Okay, 39 divided by 28, there is one of those. And to get from 28 to 39, then we have 11 more, so 11 over 28. A completely horrible answer, I know, but a correct answer. Okay, what about I give you a couple of these to work on by yourself? So let's have a look. Um, I'll get my trusty eraser here and I'll rub these out and I'll write up a bunch of them that you can work on, okay? So, let's put three of them up. One, two, three, I'll, I'll write them down and then you can work on them, pause it, work on them and I'll go through the answers. So what is uh, a half divided by a third? What is two and a half divided by um, a third? Let's go the third, the third team. And we'll go um, three and two quarters. Three and two quarters, same as three and a half, by the way. Which is divided by, uh, let's make this one and a third. Okay, we'll stick them with the third team. Okay, pause this, give it a go.
Okay, so I'm going to go through the answers here. So, uh, excuse my bit of working out here because I'm going to run out of room, so I'm going to do a bit of working out on the fly sort of thing. So, this one third here, first off, I'm going to change this here to a times. And if I do that, when I do that, I have to change this and this around. So, this is going to become three, and the one's going to go down here. So, one times three is three over. 2 times 1, which is 2, which is 1 and a half, because 3 divided by 2 is 1, with 1 left over, we'll put that over 2. Okay, so now I'm going to do uh, this next one down here, I'm going to change this to a times, and to do that, I'm going to have to change this 3 and put it up the top here, and the 1 down the bottom, so 3 at the top, and 1 down the bottom. I'm also going to have to change this mixed number here, okay, so I'm going to do that as well. So 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Okay? Hey, the magic of having computers and erasers, right? It makes life so much easier, right? 5 times 3 is 15. And 2 times 1 is 2. 15 divided by 2 is 7, because 7 twos are 14, and there's 1 left over, so that becomes 1 and a half. Okay, let's do this next question. So, with the magic of erasers and that sort of deal, I'm going to do that as well. So I'm going to change these both. First off, I'm going to change them into improper fractions. So 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. Okay, put that line back there. And this one here, 1 times 3, 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4, so it's going to become a 4. Then I'm going to have to turn these guys upside down and change that to a times. So let me do that. I'm going to change this to a times. And I'm going to turn these guys upside down here. So the 4 is going to go on the bottom and the 3 is going to go up the top. 3 up the top, 4 at the bottom. Let's work on this now. 14 times 3. The answer to that is 42. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16. So how many times does 16 go into 42? So it goes in twice because uh, 2 times 16 is 32 and there is 10 left over. So 10 over 16. I can take this a step further because 2 goes into both of these numbers so we're going to get the answer of 2 and 2 goes into this 5 times and it goes into this one 8 times. So 2 and 5 eighths. So how did you go with those? Okay, it looks like you've just been multiplying fractions and that's what you have been doing and that's how we divide fractions. So hopefully you did really good. Any questions, any comments, put them up. Okay, see you next time.